hi everyone welcome back to the exchanges video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn that how we can add some checkboxes here and how we can select uh, the all checkboxes on a single click and deselect them all and how we can get the data from selected checkbox let's say he, we just uh, select two of uh, these rows and how we can uh, get the only data of two rows on button click alright so now let's get started so I already made this data so I'm not going to make it again so if you want to watch our previous video then link is given in the description box because if I'm just going to make this out then it will take a long time alright so this is my view part and here I'm just going to add some uh, properties and some buttons and you are able to do every uh, all functionality with the checkboxes so now let's get started with that so first of all uh, I am just going to add an ID with that so let's say I am just going to add the text grid here and after that uh, we have to add one more property with the select mode cell mode and this cell mode uh, here we can provide an object and there is some multi property objects you can see that so first of all we have to check that the check only and with this check only uh, it can be true and false uh, depends on the you and after that uh, we have to add the mode of the checkboxes so let's say I want to add the simple mode of the checkboxes alright and after that what I want to add here so let's say I want to add here checkboxes then I can add the property with the name of type and with the type I can use the check columns alright sorry check box model alright and after there is a one more property which we have to uh, use the inject checkbox inject checkbox with the small box alright and it can be you uh, the first second and the last so uh, we want to add on the first column so that I'm just going to put here first none string all right so after doing it all so we can check that is an any, any error or not so let's see so now you can see that we got the checkboxes but how we can get the data of this so for that uh, I'm just going to add some buttons with this grid so for the buttons I'm just going to use the buttons property here and this is the array because we use the three buttons so first of all I'm just going to add first button with the name of um, text with a select all all right and after that I can add uh, one more property with the handler and handler will uh, allow us to use the functionality here so on the click so here I have to add some functionality like ext dot get CMP that means get component and here we have to provide the ID so what's the ID here you can see that the get text box all right and after that we have to choose the get selected model this is also a function and with that you can use the select all capital A all right so okay so maybe uh, we have to use a selection or selected all right so one button is there so now let's try so is it working or no so when I'm just going to click on here then you can see that the all item are selected all right so now I'm just with the same thing I'm just going to make three more buttons 
So I guess there are two more here. All right. And after that, we can use the function name deselect here. I think it should be work and there is some one more thing is the get selection and just you can write here remove all get selected data so I think uh, for that case we have to save it any variable so I'm just going to write here where data and this data will be stored inside a variable and uh, now I can use the console here the console dot one I can just print the data value here so now let's check and if we have any error then we have to debug it so whenever I'm just going to click on the selection it's done remove okay so maybe there is some issue with that deselect I think so let me check yep I have to add one more e here that's a spell mistake and now let's refresh it and let's check select all remove all if I just check to try to remove it then they are removing it alright so when I just get selected value here you can see that we got the constructor and inside the constructor we have the value let us select all and then put the uh, click on the get selected then I got the four values and every value there is some result so let's say I just select 2 and click on that then you can see that on our first value we got the value uh, in the first array we got the values and second array we got the value for the second element alright so thanks guys thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe our channel if you have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box thank you so much